Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Oracle of Love for Singles. This is for those that would like to have a look and see who is potentially coming in uh, for you as a prospective partner. If you'd like a more personal reading, I do private um, Oracle of Love readings as well. And that can be uh, accessed uh, via an email to me, simply stating, you know, what it is that you'd like. And we can go from there. Otherwise, stay tuned, Sagittarius, and we'll see who's coming in for you. Sagittarius, Oracle of Love for Singles. Who is coming in? Okay, all right. So Four of Cups. This person is going to completely surprise you and take you off guard. There's someone you ha you don't know. There's someone completely new. Um, I feel as though in one aspect you might be assessing your options and this person is going to come in a really big way and change your life. You've got the lovers. Absolutely beautiful to see. This is almost like a soulmate connection here with the lovers card. This is the universe that has brought the two of you together. There's a lot of passion, sexuality and chemistry. I feel like you'll be meeting them face to face. You might randomly bump into them. But there's someone brand new to you. They're not in your friend circle uh, you're probably not currently talking to them, but you're going to be in two minds about them. I feel like they might be too good to be true, or maybe it's just an attraction that you're thinking. But the lover says to me, this really is divinely orchestrated. But I feel someone will be conflicted. It could be you, Sagittarius. You might have two choices here. It could be one or two people, or you could just be really unsure about where to take the relationship. Knight of Wands, this person is going to pursue you. They could be a fire sign, could be Gemini. You've got air here, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius could be a fire sign here also. But we'll have a look when we um, throw out more cards. This person is, there's a lot of action and movement about this person. They could be very active. They could be very youthful. They don't want to sit still and they certainly want to get the, the chemistry and the passion going. Okay, the Emperor could be an Aries here. This is a fire sign. There's a protective, domineering quality about this person. He keeps coming up in a lot of the readings, actually. So I feel a lot of us are going to be receiving these, um, you know, people with these types of characteristics here. Okay, Three of Swords. They may have been in a love triangle in the past or you may be in a love triangle something to do with choices here because we've got the two and the three of one the three of uh swords sorry so i feel as though there could be prospect uh two prospective people coming around you or otherwise they will be in a triangle and you will randomly pop into their lives and they will have to choose between you and somebody else this also indicates to me maybe they may have been cheated on as well in the past and found out that they were the third party or they were the side person in a, in a love situation okay six of cups they could be very childlike. They could have had a really good childhood. They may already have children or want children. They're very youthful, I'm sensing. They could have young siblings around them. This also indicates to me a beautiful new beginning, something new blossoming, something that makes you feel like a child again. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, strength card. This person is quite strong in character, could be a Leo. I feel this person is mentally strong, physically strong, is big on fitness and staying active as well. Okay, the chariot, they could be very successful at what they do for work. Um, this is the sign of cancer. They could have um, a lot of success, recognition, whether they're a scholar or an app developer, whatever it is that they do for work, they are surely recognized in the field for what they do. Knight of Cups, this person acts on emotion. Okay, the Hierophant, this person could be very religious and or spiritual they may go to churches they may like to visit small towns could be a taurus here with the hierophant this person has a lot of friends that look up to them or a lot of colleagues that look up to them they're certainly in the public eye or they just have that dominant personality where they're the sort of alpha male or alpha female in their in their circle of friends maybe okay seven of Cups. This person is big on manifestation. I feel like this person has a lot to do in their life still and they're still ticking off things they want to get done in their life. So you'll have to keep up with them there because you'll have to be patient. But they're big on manifesting and I feel they've already manifested a lot of things and it could be a relationship. That's what's missing for them. Okay, wishes. 
This person is going to fulfill your wishes. This is beautiful to see. It says your wishes will be fulfilled with this person. And they're really going to give you this beautiful love as we saw here with the lover's card. The lover's and the wishes. Absolutely beautiful. This is the love that you've been wishing for. So don't deny yourself. Don't deny it with the two of swords. Intuition. Follow your intuition. Most chances are it's, it's really accurate. They could be very intuitive or you could be very intuitive. Or you could almost feel when they're around you or what they're doing if they're near type of thing there could be that sort of twin flame connection there as well opulence okay this person likes to go out have a good time they could enjoy drinking dancing performing for people um they could be very animated that comes up good fortune okay there's fortuitous events around this person good luck luck is with them they have a certain optimism about them that attracts good things they also make their own luck they're quite ambitious in that sense okay strength strength in character mental strength physical strength big on staying active big on fitness big on strength i feel like they're a real solid person solid mentality love okay so i've never have i've never received these two cards before so you need to watch out and see who's coming in for you, Sagittarius, because to get these two cards in an Oracle of Love reading is very, very rare. In fact, it's never happened for me in my tarot reading career. So this is big. This is someone that's going, it's either a soulmate, someone who's going to transform your life. You could end up marrying this person, definitely. Maybe not in the next six months, but certainly in the future. Love, this says to me that you'll have such a beautiful connection. You're very in tune with each other. You're very in sync. You're at the same stage in life. Everything will just flow. Your wishes will be fulfilled. Love is coming to you in a way that maybe you haven't experienced before. Three of Cups. You're celebrating a lot with this person. This person likes, again, to celebrate, to head out. Very happy disposition. Again, a three-party situation, though. So they could have two good friends or they could have previously been uh, cheated on or something like that. Ace of Wands, brand new opportunity here with this person of longevity. This is the hand of God. This is fated. Nine of Wands, this person could be defensive. They could have been hurt in the past. Maybe they were in this love triangle situation. Maybe they were cheated on. Um, they'll have their guard up, though. It's going to take time to break through those worry, uh, barriers. They will be defensive over something as well. So just be mindful. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, very big on emotion. A lot of things could be happening around them, but they'll sit still. They won't get too swept up in all the commotion as well. So they have a lot of calming, grounded energy about them. King of Swords could be this air sign. Very direct, good at communication, a lot of charisma. Uh, could be in a communicative role in their work. Uh, because of their communication abilities, whether written or oral, will be very direct with what they want, will speak their mind, will be driven by intuition. The Empress, beautiful. This is a really, you're going to be very attracted to this person. This is a really beautiful card to get, especially on top of the love card here. This indicates to me you could potentially be, become pregnant with this person or have a child with this person. Really strong attraction. Could be an earth sign or they have, they're very sensual. They're very grounded. They're very loyal. Um, exceptionally attract attractive. I feel like they'll be everything you ever wanted and more. And they certainly, it's the person that you've been wishing for. Whether it's been on a conscious level or a subconscious level, you've wished for this person. And now the universe has, you know, you've, you've manifested here with the Empress. And now the universe is giving you in, them in the physical form, in your physical world. So you'll, they'll definitely be showing up very, very soon. It could be at a celebration of some sort. Definitely here. But it's an absolutely beautiful reading, Sagittarius. I wish you all the best of luck in finding this beautiful potential soulmate of yours. And I will be speaking to you again very soon. Thanks again.